Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, if you've been to any major gala in the last 15 years in Dallas-Fort Worth, you know my next guest. He is one of the best auctioneers in the business. His journey just ahead. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. So my wife and I go to a lot of galas, so we get a chance to hear a lot of different auctioneers. And when you go to one of these fundraisers, the, the idea is for the fundraiser to make money. And sometimes after all bills are paid, the hotel is paid, the meals are paid, the nonprofit doesn't make very much money unless they have an amazing auctioneer. I happen to be sitting next to one, Dean McCurry. He's with DM Auction Services. Thanks for coming on the show. I'm really happy to be here. It's great. Good all to right. see you, Jeff. All right, break us off a little auctioneer speak. 25, got 25, got a 3, got a 3,000, got a 3, 3,500, 35, got a 4, got a 4,000, 45, yeah, you'd be a 4, 45, got a 5, 5,000, got a 5,000, 6,000, 6,000, 6,000, over here, 6,000, go 75, 75, and I go to 8. So I don't talk fast during a charity auction, Jeff, because a lot of people, you want to make sure they hear clearly what the dollar amount is. If the lady in the corner who just bought the oil well or sold the oil well raises her hand and I miss her bid, so that's where I can go 2,500, 25, three. I got 3,000 in the corner. You so you have to three. slow it down. I have to slow it down for charities, yeah. Because if you go too fast, the last thing you want is somebody to say, I was gonna bid on that item and spend a lot of money, but I didn't get a chance to because he closed it too quickly. And is there a psychology behind it? I've always wondered, like, do you, uh, are there plants in the audience or, or do you just see, okay, this guy has an ego and that lady has an ego and they keep fighting, so I'm gonna work this. So what I do is I split the items mm -hmm. and we'll talk about the trips in just a second. But what I do is like, if you go higher and higher and higher, you only have one winner. My thing is we have our own travel company. I know the trips, I've vetted the trips, I've been on a lot of the trips. So I know what the profit is for the organization making money. So if they want to go, they want to go, they want to go, and they want to go, I can go sold, 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 and sold. So instead of making two or 3,000 per each item, on this one item we can make four times two is $8,000. So everybody can go, we have two years of travel. So you're making more money for the organization by that, by that method. I think that is absolutely brilliant. We found a nice overview video. Let's go ahead and roll that now. $1,000. I got $1,000. $2,000. I got two. I got two. I got three. I got three. Everybody clap. We're going to have fun. We're going to raise money. So, so, so. I got six thousand. Go seven. Tuscany. Give me five. See the statue of David in Florence. The beach, the fish, the water. You're going, you're going, you're going, and you're going. So, so, so.
out for Jack Nicholas. So for seven, so for seven, fourteen thousand dollars. Thank you, Jack. Hands your head, tail sit out. It's tail. You the winner. Congratulations. Congratulations. Dean, it just looks like you're having a lot of fun. I do want to interact with the crowd. I want to be an entertainer. I want to have the crowd, like when they left that night, they spent some money, they go home and said, you know what, it was a fun auction. We don't want to have the rubber chicken and the boring auctions where people are just sitting there and here's a guy on stage as a hired gun. I work the crowd. I never get on stage. I'm down in the audience where I can get in the level of the seating, talk to the winners, talk to the people bidding, have fun with them. I have a few jokes that are legitimate jokes that are funny mm -hmm. to work with the crowd. And so they said this was fun. They spent a lot of money. They had a good time. The technology is self-explanatory. You can bid. You can bid on your phones. You can bid anywhere you want. Not even have to be there. You can still bid on the items. So the issue is it's fun, engaging, interactive. And I know what the things are because I have my own travel company. So I know a lot of the items and I memorize those. So when I get on stage, we have the PowerPoint behind me with music. So if it's like a trip to Colorado, then the music is John Denver, Rocky Mountain High, which gets people excited. And all the bullet dots of the ski in and ski out, four bedrooms, you know, spa, hot tub outside. You know, it's really, really informative because they see that, they listen to John Denver, Rocky Mountain High, and then I get going on the bidding and I know right where to start. So you always want to go up in the bid. You never want to start high and come down. You always want to go up. And I love it that you've vetted all the trips so that you know that what you're selling is something that is going to be an amazing experience. Absolutely. And people with COVID, kind of tough. You know, people couldn't travel that much. And so now recently, people are just taking all the trips they bought during COVID and they're traveling. We have a travel staff. We have travel support. We have uh, fulfillment of the travel trips. So when they buy the trip, they have two years of travel, so we don't have to go the next day or make a trip to go. You know, Tuscany, I've sold Tuscany 275 times. Wow. I've sold uh, Turks and Caicos 100 times. I've sold Kentucky Bourbon Trip, which is fun, and the Bourbon Trail in Lexington. I've sold uh, Mallorca. We've got uh, Greece. We've got uh, just uh, Turks and Caicos, I said. And we've got so many different destinations that it's kind of like, I want to travel. I want to go somewhere. We have a place in Mexico that's beautiful by Cabo, and it's a beautiful, calm sea that I went there on vacation about a month and a half ago, and they have the number one golf resort in South America and Mexico, and it's like heaven on earth, and people don't know about it. So a lot of these places are not like, I've already been there, I've already been there. You know, St. Thomas, St. Croix, we just got St. Bart's. So it's like places you want to go, and you're going to go on a vacation, and the money you spend is for the charity to make a nonprofit organization to donation. And that's what's fun about this. We work with them to make sure they know who we are. They bought the trip with me on stage. They have our travel department, and these trips are all vetted. So it's a positive reinforcement of the trip they bought to know they're going to have a great time. All right. I don't expect you to know the answer, but how many uh, auctions have you, have you done? Probably about 1,200. No kidding. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. We do golf, Jeff. We do galas. We do clay shoots. We do luncheons. I mean, it's like any type of fundraiser. We, we're, we can be outside. We can be inside. We have you know, technical support staff that we work with to, to make sure that the registration, the bidding, and all that's done electronically on the phones. So we have all the staff support, which is important because my committee, I say, you enjoy the night. Don't stress out. Have fun at the event interface with your clients and your patrons, and we'll take care of all the behind the scenes activity, anything that goes on, we're behind you to support you 100%. We wanna roll one of his testimony videos. Dean was the auctioneer for Ability Connections Vine and Dine event, and I can say as the co-chair that he single-handedly saved the event. We did not have a lot of live auction items, and he was able to bring his amazing trips and auctioned off 19 of them. In addition to the trips, he also brought his enthusiasm and dedication. We had multiple phone calls to make sure that everything was just right. He also brings technology that made it super simple to get people to spend money. We had no idea what to do and how to auction off these glasses that our members had painted. Well, Dean had his technology. We were able to put them on Instabuy. 
bam, we sold all of them. Using his technology also made it easy for people to buy raffle tickets or tickets for the Heads or Tails game. We raised thousands and thousands of dollars because people could open up the website, click, bam, and go on about their evening and have a good time. I had dozens of people coming up to me after the event saying, Dean made the night. He was fun, he was engaged, and more importantly, he really does care. He cared about our members, he cares about the cause. That's why he does it every single time. The bonus, he makes it really easy for you to make a lot of money for the organization. Dean, that's got to feel so good when the nonprofit comes back and says, you helped us raise more money than we've ever raised before. And the key that she made is the involvement of the organization, Jeff. It's very, very mission critical for me to understand the organization. If I don't know the organization, I don't know their mission, I don't know the cause, I don't know where the money goes, and I don't know what they're raising money for. So we go to the facility and we're there with the people, we understand it, we meet with them, we tour the grounds. So when I'm on stage, I'm like a spokesman for that charity, nonprofit 501C. And I feel so comfortable to know when I leave and drive home, Jeff, which you've done a hundred times at auctions, I have a feel good in my heart that compassionately I did something to make a difference for their people with sex trafficking, cancer, mm. leukemia, we're doing two this weekend for the deaf, for Dallas Herring, and we're also doing epilepsy. I did the Boys and Girls Club two weeks ago at Globe Life Park, and I'll tell you a funny story. I was doing the auction, and all of a sudden, my wife, who was a spotter, a ring person, comes up to me during this event. This is probably 400 people in the middle of Globe Life Park, and she says, this guy wants to buy your jacket, and I go, <laughs> you know, you're kidding, Dale, you're kidding, you're kidding. And she said, no, this guy wants to buy your jacket. And I said, no, no, this is just, it's just funny. It's a joke. It's really funny. She said, seriously. So the guy is right there. I'm looking at him. And he says, yes. His wife says, yes, I want to buy the jacket. So I start bidding my jacket. I go 500. <laughs> she raises her hand. Nobody, I go to seven and a half. She raises her hand against herself. I go to $1,000, four boys and girls club of Fort Worth. And I go, so I take the jacket off, Oh, Jim. no kidding. It fits his size perfectly all night long. This guy's wearing my jacket, and I've sold the jacket <laughs> off my back. So I said, that was a funny one. That was really hilarious. Listen. But again, it's all for the cause. And I, I felt so comfortable, so fun. You know what? I think from now on, you bring like five jackets. <laughs> you got, I got, I got four more in the car. That's right. That's <laughs> so. Well said, Jeff. Well okay. said. I want the jacket off your back. Uh, Dean, we're almost out of time. So final thoughts. What would you like to leave people with? Um, it's just a feel-good situation. We look forward to it. People are back in person now for galas. Um, we're doing a lot of different events. We're scheduled for 2023. And I want to say that we're here to support your organization, to have fun with your patrons, raise a lot of money, and make it like a record-breaking night for your organization and your staff having a smile to go home and say, wow, we knocked it out of the park. And that's my feelings. That's why I do this. And I feel good about every organization that we partner with and work with and fundraise with. Outstanding. Thank you so much for uh, it's bringing, a pleasure, Jeff. bringing it's your great message to be here. and your ministry to my viewers. Thank you so much, Jeff. We're going to end with the website, which is gmauctionservices.com. Thanks again, Dean. Thank you, Jeff. And that's it for now. We'll see you next time.